Hello everyone and welcome. This is Philip here and today we're going to talk about happiness in Anno 1800, why it's important and its benefits. We'll go through the five factors that influence happiness. Then we'll talk about some really nice town hall items to put in your town hall. And you might be asking me, Philip, this is a video about happiness. Why aren't you more bubbly? By nature, I'm not really a bubbly type of person. I have friends who are super bubbly. And if you are the bubbly type, keep doing your thing. We need more people like you guys. But I'm going to maintain my same demeanor that I use through all my videos and uh, let's get started right now. One quick primer about happiness is that it's confined to one island. So you have one island that has an island average of 27. If you go to a different island, it also has a different happiness level. So when your people are happy, they give you more coins. That's the very first thing. As long as you fulfill their luxury needs in your happiness tab, you get way more coins. In addition to that, when people are happy, they can potentially start festivals. Festivals will give you happiness and more income. Let's go ahead and look into the farmer house and look at the five factors that contribute to happiness. First and foremost, you'll see is the pollution tab, which if you have industry in a particular island, you'll get a decrease in happiness. In this island, I don't have any heavy industry. But if we head over to this island here, we have a bunch of factories here. And if we check their happiness level, you'll see that they have a pollution. As long as people are happy with the news, they will uh, contribute more to your happiness. You can change the news by going to the newspaper tab here. Um, hello, what's going on? Okay, I think there's a bug in my game. What the? Are you serious? You can go into your newspaper right here. From this screen, you can spend your influence points in order to kind of use propaganda to cause your people to be happier. Uh, don't ignore the newspaper because sometimes if you have too many of these minus negative happiness, you're going to run into issues. And another word of warning is that be careful using too much propaganda here um, because people will not be very happy. It's more about balancing it. The next thing is your luxury needs. As long as you meet the luxury items down here, then your people will be happier. Every citizen tier has a different luxury needs. For example, your artisan will require more luxury needs like beer and theater and rum. And your investors will also require much, much more. But as long as you keep every single one of these luxury needs met, that will contribute to this luxury factor here. The next up is Island Peace. This one in particular, if you're not at war, if you're not fighting battles, you don't have to worry too much about it. If you're fighting war, then you really have to make sure that you're ending battles, ending wars as quickly as you can. Otherwise, it can really, really suffer. Working conditions, if you like to micromanage just a little bit more, what you can do is go into these little tabs up here and change the working conditions. Let's try, for example, artisans. We go here and right now we see that the happiness is at a zero and as we keep decreasing the productivity the happiness goes up here and the happiness also goes up here you can cancel this by right clicking on it and you're back to normal in adjusting working conditions sometimes it's very useful to adjust it especially when for example your citizens are really unhappy and you fear that they're about to riot what you can do is go ahead and decrease the productivity which uh, will in turn increase their happiness and it gives you more time to think of a next plan for you to avoid those riots by changing things to make your people happier. Moving on to town hall items. There are some really amazing items to have. For example, this one here, it's the alcohol tax amendment, which gives you a bonus happiness of all the people around here, a 12, a plus 12. And they also gain bonus happiness from beer, schnapps, champagne, rum, and so on. Another item to put in your town hall would be this a Vindication of Women's Rights. Gives you a plus 12 happiness, workforce of plus 20%, and the chance of riots is minus 20%. You can get many of these items in the NPC Harbor. Navigate over to Archibald's Blake Harbor, and you can get these books. Just keep re-rolling the items or eventually wait and he'll refresh his items. Keep in mind that re-rolling items will cost you more coins. A few more things I want to mention before the video ends. You don't need to fulfill all of their happiness in order to increase and upgrade their citizens to the next tier. As you can see here, all of our needs are met. However, not everything in the happiness is met. 
and we can still upgrade them right here. And another thing as you progress and as you plan your city, in order to avoid the pollution issue, what you can do is have a separate island where you have all industry and pollute one island, just pollute the heck out of it, and save one city where everything, there's no pollution, there's no factory, and that's how you can keep the pollution away from the city. And that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you like my content, uh, subscribe, press that like button, and stay tuned for more videos. This is Philip signing out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. Take care.